Yes, you finally got your new instrument, but what do you do now? Where do you even start with all of this? The horn can look super complicated, but don't worry, it's really much simpler than it seems. In this video, I'm going to help you assemble your instrument, hold it correctly, and learn to play your first notes in no time. Grab your horn and get ready to follow along. Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Selena Matum, and welcome to the Virtual Music Classroom presented by the U.S. Army Field Band. We connect and inspire people throughout the country and around the world, and we're here to give you the tools you need to play your best, share your passion, and change lives. Let's get started. First things first, you want to make sure that you have the case sitting on a table, maybe on the floor, everything has to be facing the right way. Never open the case on a chair or in your lap. There's nothing like that new instrument smell. You know how cars have a new car smell? It's sort of like that, but with a French horn. Lucky for you, there are only two main parts to worry about when you're putting the instrument together. The horn and the mouthpiece. Go ahead and pick up your horn. There's a good place to grab right here, or you can hold it at the top and bottom like this. You'll want to hold it on your lap like this. Now simply take the mouthpiece, put it into the lead pipe, and give it a small, gentle twist. That's it, your horn is assembled and ready to go. Now, you're probably wondering, what do I do with all these other parts? Let's talk about a couple of basic things that you can do to take care of your instrument and get it ready to play for the very first time. Now, since this horn is brand new, it's most likely going to need some slide grease and valve oil. The slide grease helps to keep the slides moving smoothly. If your slides feel scratchy or dry or are getting stuck, they definitely need slide grease. To apply the slide grease, take a small amount on your finger like this, and you're going to put it all over the part of the slide that goes inside the horn. These are the parts that aren't shiny. Make sure that anytime you move the slides on the front of the instrument, these slides right here, you press the button that corresponds with that slide. You can repeat this same process for any of the slides that feel sticky. If any of your slides are really stuck, do not try to pull it on your own. Get help from your band teacher or bring it into your local music shop. For now, leave all the slides pulled out just a little bit. The last thing you need to do to get playing is apply some valve oil. This gets your keys working smooth and fast. You'll want to put one to two drops here in the little crack between the parts that move and the parts that don't. You'll also want to put a few drops here under the valve caps. Now the moment you've been waiting for, your first sound. It might feel a little goofy, but try to buzz your lips together like this. That's basically what you're going to do into the mouthpiece. Put the mouthpiece on your lips and think about the letter M. Mm. We try to shoot for two thirds upper lip and one third lower lip in the mouthpiece. Try buzzing your lips into the mouthpiece like this. Whatever note comes out, that is great. It might be lower or higher than the note that I played. Now, put the mouthpiece back on the horn. You're going to hold the horn like this with the bell resting on your leg, your right hand inside the bell, your left hand goes up here with your pinky in the ring, your index, middle, and ring fingers resting on the keys. Try playing this note with me. This is your C below the staff. Mm -hmm. 
Now try to go from C to E. All you have to do is blow your air a little faster to go up. Play each note for four beats. Now we're going to add the G above that. Remember to blow your air faster to get to the higher notes. Go from C to E to G, four beats for each note. Nice work, you've just played your first three notes. Before you know it, you'll be able to play for much longer and learn all kinds of songs. Here's an example, one of my favorite melodies to play. Now you're ready to get learning with your band or private lesson teacher. Check out our other educational videos and of course, all of our performances that feature the horn. Now get out there and start practicing everyone. We'll see you next time.